Hey everyone, welcome to Vancouver Island Bushcraft. So, as you know, I uh, like to learn about edible plants and that kind of thing, especially in the summertime, because as we know, right now there's nothing much to eat. But um, during my process of bushcrafting, I've acquired a couple of books. I've got um, this one here, Food Plants of, uh, what is it? Of Coastal First Peoples, really handy to take into the bush with you. And I also have like, all of the plants of the Pacific Northwest Coast, edible and not edible, so you can really do a good uh, research of these particular things. But what's interesting is, I got, I saw on uh, on Amazon there was a book called Edible Native Plants of the Rocky Mountains. I figured I would get that. But guess what came with it? I'll just put this down and I'll show you. So I'll put this down like this. Put this like that. Okay, so Edible Native Plants of the Rocky Mountains. Now this was published in. 1967. So this is as old as I am. I'm 52, this book is 51. So I get this used book from Amazon.ca. The cool thing about this book is inside the book is huge amounts of plants. They actually sent this book with the plants still intact. And it shows what the plants are, whether some of them are edible, and it just goes on. There's plants everywhere in this book. How cool is that? So um, I think I paid like twenty dollars for this thing, and the guys that are selling this chose to keep the plants in the book. Now a lot of people would complain about that, thinking that you know there's these dried plants in your book, but me, I think it's the coolest thing ever, and I wanted to share that with you guys. Um, anyway, so yeah, it's called Edible Native Plants of the Rocky Mountains, over 50 years old, and the entire book is filled with dried plants, probably 30 or 40 years old, worth of plants. So um, yeah, anyway, have a great day guys, take care.